Hello and welcome to this, another exciting episode of The Camera Andy, and today I'm going to be trying something a little bit new, a little bit scary, a little bit strange. Something that I like to call, I found an old game from my childhood in a weird little shop, thus I must show it to you and teach you how to make it run on modern systems. Now, today's game is The Curse of Monkey Island, the third game in the Monkey Island series, published by LucasArts, and this is a game that I cherished dearly as a child, all the way back in 1997. It is a fantastic little point-and-click adventure game in the traditional LucasArts style. Now, as you can see from all the stuff in the background, this game came in an absolutely fantastic cardboard box case thing with absolutely stunning art and when we open it up we can reveal the traditional game manual this thing is absolutely fantastic i wish more modern games did this but as you can see kind of like to smell them and get a little excited by them don't don't judge me as you can see, the game runs on a very archaic device for gaming these days, the old CD-ROM. As you can see, this game has two of them, so whilst you're playing halfway through, you'd have to switch out to the other disc and carry on playing from there. Now, as I put this game in and load it up, the game will do a very weird thing that not a lot of people know about these days, which is the old auto-start where it will automatically load up the game's kind of launcher thing where it'll ask if we want to install or not. And when I click it, as you can see, yeah, it doesn't work because this game was released in 1997. Shocking, I know. But I'm going to show you how to make this work. The way we do that is by heading over to scumvm.org, downloading the latest version, and once it's downloaded, installing it and booting it up. And on its funky little interface, you will click Add Game. It'll come up with a little select directory thing and you will attempt to find where the CD is inserted. And then you will just click Choose and it will add the game. Now I kind of changed some of my graphic settings just so that it will run full screen and it won't look like pants. But in all fairness, I don't entirely know what I did and I need to experiment a bit more with that uh, in my own time. Maybe do a video to see how each thing compares. So that's how you get the game to run. Once you've done that, the game will run beautifully on your modern machine and you can enjoy an old timey classic like I will be. Oh, sweet, sweet molasses. Look at these beautiful graphs. Oh, oh my God. I spent so much time in my childhood playing this game. So many fond memories, guys. So many. This game took up so much of my time. It was absolutely... I remember sitting around trying to figure out how to do stuff. Like the caber toss and the, the battling, the fighting, which they brought back from all the other Monkey Islands. Where it was all about insults, but this time they had to rhyme, if I remember rightly. Because that's how they did it at sea. We weren't some landlubbers. It was fantastic. And the song, a pirate I was meant to be. Trim the sails and roam the seas. It was, oh my god. This game is absolutely fantastic. I'm not even kidding. If any of you guys have the chance to play this, to pick it up, it's amazing. I would really suggest it. And just, ah, uh, such a good nostalgia trip one that actually holds up today because it still looks stunning so i have been andy you've been awesome thank you very much for watching this little experiment if you enjoyed this leave a comment in the comment section down below letting me know what you think and i think next time i will attempt one of the other games that i found maybe indiana jones and the fate of atlantis goodbye <laughs>